Hey guys, hopefully everybody is having a great day today. Today I will be doing a mukbang of some soup. I'm just like over it. I feel like I'm basically getting sicker or whatever. Um, basically, <laughs> I'm nauseated now and I'm just like over everything. I, I don't know what the heck's going on. But yeah, this is some um, regular camel soup. The um, big noodle chicken soup or whatever. And I put some grilled or well, sauteed onions and garlic in it. And I have some grilled cheese, a grilled cheese sandwich and a hot toddy or whatever. I don't know what the heck's going on. I didn't really want to eat anything. So yeah, this is, I guess this is something I guess they'll settle my stomach right now, so yeah. Let's see. It's still hot, so yeah. Damn. This how my soup is looking. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's still hot and red. I forgot. Let me see if it'll record. Oh. Not that bad. My three day weekend has went pretty good so far, whatever, besides feeling sick. I guess. I haven't really been taking care of myself like I should. I haven't been drinking water over the weekend. Enough water, I feel like. That might be the, one of the reasons or whatever, but other than that, I feel like I've been getting a lot of sleep. I don't think I have been stressing really. I don't know, but I don't really, now I'm just starting to think since I have my apartments, it's like so really close together, I feel like Somebody over here probably had the COVID, of course, or whatever, out of all these apartments, thousands and thousands of apartments. And I feel like it probably could have got through the air ducts or whatever. So I wouldn't be surprised. Or something. I don't know. It could be stress or whatever. You never know these days. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of sickly looking people over here. That's all the onions and garlic. I know garlic is supposed to make you feel better, but we'll see how that goes. I always eat garlic anyway. I've really been thinking about it. <laughs> well, my um, apartment management, they're not going to do nothing. I was thinking about calling, make a report with the police. Because my freaking downstairs neighbor, they always be just like standing on the balcony naked. It's just an old Indian dude or whatever. Nasty. Nobody wants to see no wrinkled balls and stuff. Old. I like 60. Six, I say 60 or 70. But ain't no telling. It's just disgusting. Everybody, well, um, I don't know if they actually got reported by some individual people who stay here, but um, the maintenance, one of the maintenance dudes was telling me uh, that he reported the dude to the management. I mean, he was just like, yeah, that's just how they are, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I, I, this is my first time actually speaking seeing the old Indian or whatever do that, but and it just, it's just weird. I don't know. Nobody wanna see that, I, uh, I guess, if I had kids over here or whatever, or if I was in the apartment area, it would be a, probably a different story. I probably would actually, well I told, 
told him to put on some clothes while I was recording him or whatever. And he bold or whatever. He just walk around. I don't even think someone supposed to be in that apartment because it's like, my apartment is like 400, 500 square feet and it's only a one bedroom. And it's like three or four people that stay in the apartment. So I'm like, what the hell are y'all even doing here? I guess it is what it is. It's kind of uncomfortable. Cause I don't, I mean, people, of course people are gonna, another reason why I don't like stand by him or whatever. He just look, he just don't say anything, just look, don't say, hey, how you doing? I initially tried to say that when he uh, moved over here and he's like, okay, and he just, look, he apparently, the maintenance said he do that to everybody. And I be looking out the window, he just like be stopping and driving and just look at people. It's awkward. I don't know. Now I'm really thinking I want to um, maybe stay here another year and just work on my credit so I can you know, have to deal with apartment people. I want to probably try to get a half. See how that goes. I mean, this is like I've been staying here for three years or whatever. And I know my rental history should be good or whatever for having three years of staying in this apartment under my built so I don't know. I do not know. And yeah, another, I can go for days talking about this dude or whatever. He, he, him, I guess in his little family moved in initially when all the corona crap started like around March when I know it was when I moved um, from work at home, well, to work at home or whatever. And they moved in and it was just like, it's been awkward ever since. I had to stop putting my car right here or whatever. Cause they would um, put bird feed on top of my car. Nobody parks in this area or whatever. So he's basically harassing all the neighbors over here. Nobody parks over here besides the dude that's already registered. He would put bird feed or whatever for these dang rainy ass pigeons over here. And he would put it like by my car and on top of my car. So I, um, one day I seen it or whatever, I just put bleach on it. it killed, I think it killed a couple of uh, pigeons because they ate it. But that's a, <laughs> that's a size of the point. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought I was done getting to it when, well, I um, told them multiple times, don't do that crap or whatever. And I just started, started basically putting rice and stuff by their um, they door or whatever. So the birds can attack them. But the pigeons over here, they not scared of they're not scared of anything. They'll attack you. It feels like, well, one of them tried to bucket me before. <laughs> Those are my values. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's a different story. I'm trying to... I guess pigeons been over here for years. They're not scared of humans. And, of course, the asshole downstairs, he uh, feed the pigeons. So, yeah. I know... Um, I guess one of them was trying to uh, talk crazy to me one day <laughs> because, of course, pigeons, they poop a lot of whatever over here and they pooped all over my balcony. So I, I was sweeping it off. I had bleach and all that stuff and I sweeped it off one day and then um, the little wife or whatever came out and said, yeah, downstairs or whatever. I was like, okay, what's your point? Just a bunch of malarkey or whatever. I'm surprised they haven't got kicked out yet. I'm really surprised. Cause that's a new one. Nobody wanna deal with that type of stuff. And I'm trying to figure out who the hell feeds pigeons. They like annoying. They're, well, to me, they're annoying. They're all over here, literally.
that was I think that was on my list tasks to get actually BB gun. I don't wanna of course I'm not gonna shoot over here a real gun, but I wanted a BB gun just to kill pigeons. But yeah. Speaking of pigeons, I think probably two years ago I was I don't know what the heck I was sleeping one day or whatever and it was around that time when Trump was talking about the whole bumming crap or whatever. Somebody's gonna bum us. I just heard a big ad, big ass knock on my freaking balcony door in my bedroom and at the balcony. I was like, oh, oh Lord, so we have to get home. And it woke me out of my sleep. And all I know is I seen a big shadow Probably, it was probably, I'd say the shadow was probably at least three feet tall or two, three feet tall or whatever. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like groggy still or whatever. And while I was getting up, I can see like the feet moving and like the shadows moving. Cause it was like in the morning time, I could see the shadows moving like in my house or whatever from like the balcony or whatever. but. Of course, the cut, um, the blinds were closed or whatever, so I could just see the shadow basically. And next thing you know, I tried to open it to take a picture or whatever, and then it was some big ass bird just left, and all you could see, you could hear, was basically the bird, the pigeon getting killed or whatever, and it was a whole bunch of blood. I didn't know birds. <laughs> that much blood. It was like an imprint of blood basically on my balcony. It kind of grossed me up. I stopped eating chicken for a while. Probably a week. <laughs> but that was like really disgusting. Really. I don't know. That's why I'll be trying to get the heck out of here. And when I be, um, I, I didn't put, like, no poison outside to kill the birds as far as bird poison. I just put poor bleach on their food before. But, um, I haven't put any drastic matters in that because I don't want to invest in this part. It's not even my stuff. It's still going to, like, poop everywhere. But... I wish the actual apartment manager would do anything, do something or whatever, but they won't. Just need to move. I guess every apartment's gonna have beers. Dealing with beers. I just need to buy my own thing. But other than that, everybody is pretty cool that I've seen or whatever. Uh, I'm, they might be talking about me that I'm probably the neighbor from here, but I feel like he is the neighbor from here because I feel he probably feels the same way. I feel like if I pay my rent on time, especially in these times with the COVID, y'all shouldn't say crap to me. Nothing at all. Um, balls and little little penis hanging around or whatever if you want to do that hey it is what it is I want it I thought I was going to move out this year or whatever but um, I didn't put my notice in I forgot I didn't even put my notice in and I'm it's hell trying to find an apartment or whatever, at least a good apartment or whatever. So I guess 2022, I'll probably try to reach for a house or whatever, see how that goes. And I suspect he hit my car to be honest or whatever. 
because he it, it's like he can't drive a crap. He has the one day or whatever. It was like a regular day, no rain, no sleet, no ice on the freaking ground. He well, he always has to park in words three or four times through three or four times. And then one day, it was just like a regular day. He had to get the little boy. I, I don't know if they related. His boyfriend, I don't know. To come move the car. And they had to actually show each other how to move move the car inward. So. And then one day I came outside. My car is already basically raggedy on one side. It had a big old dent in it, so I just started parking on the other side. I don't even want to. So I can look out my window and see my car. So yeah. Oh, man. That's why I don't I want to get a new car or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to get one until I move out of here. It's going to hurt my soul if I get a car and something like, like, get damaged, not on my behalf or whatever. It'll still hurt my soul if I it get damaged on my behalf, but I'm going to be even madder, if that makes sense, or if that's a word, I'm going to be even angrier if... I come outside and it's my car is hit and it's not on my behalf. I blow up everything, especially if it's new. I don't know. I've been um I I usually eat progresso soup or whatever, but lately, like this whole year, I've been just like craving the Campbell soup or whatever. But I think it's the Campbell's Big Noodle or whatever. They always, like, have it well seasoned or whatever. You don't have to put any, like, extra seasoning in it. I just put some um, onions and garlic because I love onions and garlic. Just give it a little more, bit more pizzazz. So, yeah. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.44 p.m. So I'm supposed to have my groceries delivered today. I think around three or whatever. So I guess I can take a quick nap. Pour it in. Uh, every time I'm actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's protocol that people are supposed to leave the groceries at the door, but they give you the option to opt out of it. But that's what they've been doing all this time. When I'm doing something or in the shower or even just doing this, like taking a nap or whatever, they still like they end up calling. But when I want them to actually bring it in, they just bring it at the door. But um, I guess I'm gonna take a nap and then like probably my alarm on for three o'clock, just in case. Uh, oh, excuse me. I wonder if this year they ha they are having a Martin Luther King parade, Martin Luther King Jr. parade. I haven't really heard about anybody talking about like Martin Luther King Day like that. I, it's just the off day, but I just been seeing people like post posts like Martin Luther King pictures on Facebook and stuff like that, but no parades. Mm. Past couple of days, it's been like really sunny outside, and I, um, yeah, I've been I've been wanting to actually go outside and walk with this smell of fresh air, but nah. With all the craziness going around, I don't want to take no chances. I don't at all. I really wouldn't even feel comfortable with like walking with somebody or whatever. 
Maybe if it was like in a gym or like, um, or school or something. Or even a mile. I'd probably do that, but I just don't feel comfortable walking with all the craziness going around. I really don't know what what kind of bug this is, or maybe I'm stressed, but I've been like now today I'm feeling nauseated and my body is sore. I'm just gonna blame that on not drinking enough water. For now, I don't I don't feel comfortable with going to get checked out as far as getting a COVID test. The only way that I would get a COVID test unless they actually do like blood work, dry blood. Other than that, all that stuff going up the nose and stuff and nah, not gonna happen. Dang, some of that drink in there. Whew. I didn't even make it the drum today. Or whatever. I wish I had, I would have made some um, tomato soup. And just put a little sprinkle of cheese on it. If I had tomato soup. I keep on thinking of uh, things to buy, but every time I uh, make my grocery list and put the order in, I end up forgetting it and then I have to start another grocery list. So, they don't be on my list next time I go shopping. Probably need to drink all this to say, like, so I can get hydrated or whatever, but I'm still probably trying to drink some water. Mm. Yeah. I'm hoping I don't have the same thing my little brother had, well, my, um, the middle brother or whatever have, because he's, oh, I don't know if he's sick now, but he was sick or whatever. And I was um, over there today and yesterday for my um, little bro, other little bro's birthday or whatever. So, uh, the middle brother was sick. And I'm just like, hey, I'm not going to put it in the air by having COVID or whatever. But yeah, you got to be cautious. I didn't even know until later that day he said he was. So I'm hoping it's not the same thing because it looked like he was kind of kind of um, basically having like, well, having respiratory issues or whatever because he has asthma. So yeah. People, well, oh, I don't know of them, no, but people always act like it's not a big deal or whatever. So they actually catch it in of dying. I don't know. I don't know if it's all conspiracy and they're just trying to kill us off or what. I don't know. 
but I don't, of course nobody likes being sick. I don't play about this sick stuff or whatever. I feel like I'm an extra, or I'm a germaphobe to an extent. I told my brother, so I'm taking care of himself and help that job if he can or whatever. They'll yeah, find somebody else the day you get fired. You gotta do what you gotta do, especially if you have bills. It is what it is. I'm gonna drink the rest of this, well, drink this broth or whatever. Mm. I know there's still a lot of onions in there. That's annoying. That's my pet peeve. People like eating cereal or whatever or just drinking tea and hear that clacking sound. Even before that movie Get Out, that was my pet peeve. I don't know why. I don't like a lot of noise, but I'll probably be doing a lot of noise. So, I'm thinking I'm going to try to make my own Chick-fil-A sauce or whatever. I used to love it or whatever. I used to always have a whole bunch of packs of Chick-fil-A sauce. But I do not go to Chick-fil-A anymore, everybody knows, because I think I had an allergic reaction. Every time I go, I always have an allergic reaction. So, I was like, nah, it's not worth it. And the one I went over here... They always say the um, customer service is always great, but it was horrible. I had to actually ask for some damn um, seasoning packets. Well, not seasoning, salt, pepper, ketchup, whatever. And they were like only one per customer. So I took that crap back. Hell nah. And it was a nigga who was doing that stuff. Take that crap to McDonald's. So that kind of turned me off of it, of course. It's not work the way. I do like the lemonade though, and I like the Chick fil A sauce. But other than that, it's not worth the money at all. Uh. Whew. It went down spicy. But um, I guess I will see you guys on the next video, hopefully sooner than later, and hope I get over this little sickness. Um, well, I have to um, give my mom something today. Well, give my mom my brother's wallet because he left it in my car today. But other than that, I'm gonna try to stay quarantined from people. What the hell? I forgot I'm gonna have packages delivered today and I'm gonna have Walmart drop on my stuff. So after today and if it after this Thursday, which is today is Sunday. Today is Monday. After this Thursday, uh, I guess I'll officially start quarantine. Just in case. I don't want nobody to catch what I have and I don't want to get sicker from somebody else. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, talk to you guys later. Be safe. Yeah, be safe and stay sound. And
trying to get away from the sickness or whatever. Um, later, guys. <laughs>